Hello everyone, my name is David Richard from Weekly Tools, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an exciting topic to delve into, the Evaporative Emission Control System, often abbreviated as the EVAP system. It's a critical component of your vehicle's emissions control system, and it also has some interesting parallels in the natural world. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how this system works and its environmental importance. Purpose of EVAP System The main purpose of the EVAP system is to stop fuel vapors from getting out of the exhaust system and into the air. When the fuel evaporates, it releases hydrocarbons that are bad for the environment. The EVAP System collects these fuel vapors and puts them in a canister so the engine can burn them when it's ready. Hydrocarbon emissions can be cut down by the EVAP system. The EVAP system also helps the engine run as well as possible. If fuel vapors are wrongly caught and stored, the ratio of air to fuel can be messed up, making the engine hard to start, getting bad gas mileage, and having less power. By controlling the fuel vapors, the EVAP system ensures the engine. EVAP System Components the EVAP system is made up of different components that work as an integrated system to catch and store vaporized fuel. Some of these parts are Fuel tank The fuel tank is the most crucial component of the EVAP system because it keeps the fuel for the engine. Fuel tank pressure sensor This sensor works by checking the pressure in the fuel tank and then sends the signal to the ECM engine control module if the pressure becomes abnormal. Purge valve the purge valve controls the flow of fuel vapors from the canister to the engine. The valve would open when the ECM told it to let out the fuel vapors it had been holding. Charcoal canister. The charcoal canister holds the fuel vapors. It is made of activated charcoal, which absorbs the fuel vapors until the engine is ready to burn them. Engine control module ECM. ECM is the main controller of the EVAP system. It gets information from different sensors and runs. Types of EVAP systems. There are two types of EVAP systems, the pressure system and the vacuum system. The systems employ different mechanisms to prevent the fuel from escaping the exhaust system. Pressure system. In a pressure system, the fuel tank is pressurized to prevent fuel vapors from escaping. The fuel tank pressure sensor monitors the pressure in the fuel tank and sends a signal to the ECM if the pressure exceeds a certain level. Vacuum system, the gasoline tank is evacuated as part of the vacuum system, which prevents fuel vapors from escaping the tank in the process. The intake manifold of the engine is responsible for producing the vacuum, which is then used to suck the fuel vapors from the charcoal canister into the engine so that they can be burned. I am appreciative that you brought this matter to my attention. The operation of the EVAP system involves the collection and storage of fuel or gasoline vapors until the time comes for the engine to burn them. The act of starting the engine produces a vacuum that draws the vaporized fuel that has been stored in the container into the engine itself. The ECM sends a signal to the purge valve at the appropriate time to release the fuel vapors that have been held so that the purge valve can manage the flow of fuel vapors from the canister to the engine. The fuel vapors are stored in the charcoal canister until the purge valve is opened, at which EVAP Diagnostic Trouble Codes DTCs, if something is wrong with the EVAP system, it can set off a number of different DTCs, including some of the more typical ones. The following are some of the most frequently set. PO440 Evaporative Emission Control System Malfunction PO441 Evaporative Emission Control System Incorrect Purge Flow P0442 Evaporative Emission Control System Leak Detected Small Leak P0455 Evaporative Emission Control System Leak Detected Large Leak P0456 Evaporative Emission Control System Leak Detected Very Small Leak Whenever any of these DTCs are set off, the EVAP system needs to be checked out and fixed as soon as possible. If you ignore the problem, it could lead to more pollution, less fuel efficiency, and damage to other parts of the vehicle. Diagnosing and fixing EVAP DTCs. To find out what's wrong with an EVAP DTC and fix it, mechanics usually check the gas cap for damage, use, a smoke machine or look for system leaks, make sure the purge valve and charcoal canister work right, and make sure the fuel tank pressure sensor is giving correct readings. After figuring out what's wrong, the mechanic will take the steps needed to fix or replace the broken part, this could mean replacing a broken hose or valve, cleaning or replacing the charcoal canister, or replacing the fuel tank pressure sensor.
Importance of Maintaining EVAP System The Evaporative Emissions Control System EVAP System is a closed system in your vehicle that is designed to capture vapors from the fuel tank and keep them from leaking out into the atmosphere. Gasoline vapors are harmful to the environment and can contribute to smog and air pollution. That's it for today's video. If you're as passionate about environmental issues as we are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of, of the evaporative emission control system both in the automotive world and its parallels in nature. Together, we can make a positive impact on the environment. Until next time.